Marcus, would they actually go aggressive though? Because here's the thing, mm -hmm. they're not going to be very good at stopping the Lashrak from farming. I mean, at any trial they're moving it, surely they come out on top. Well, it's going to be all about who gets the better commitment. Okay. Like, if you go in and fight, like right now, Havos, he was so decay Classic stacked. Classic Havos. Continue to just uh, free farm up and look to do whatever it is that they want. Now you're just a fan. He's, he's going to go around for round two into the Radiant Jungle. Art style is about. And he's going to hook shot straight past the Shadow Demon onto Havorce. The Tombstone drops as well. Havorce looking in a bit of trouble. There's a defensive destruction buying him some time. That will allow Havorce to get the cooldown down. But Havorce has already gone down and now Hans Ken looking for more. Trying to chase down Art style here. Giving him the punches, the decays. Going to be able to go for this one too much longer because Dendi has turned up to back up Art style. The slow is down with Hans Ken. Limp looking forward with the Sonic Wave. Blows up the Shadow Demon. And now Dendi, he's surrounded by four. Looks like he might be in trouble as well. He's Fairly tanky, keeping himself alive, will bring down Limp with him, does pay with his life. NIP coming out on top, three for one after that exchange. And uh, working him up as well, there's a few heroes here on the side of Na'Vi, ready to retaliate. The flare comes out, there's your hookshot, they're going to go for Suneco. There'll be a defensive disruption and not a Dendi. Starts to work on Jonas and Fan, Jonas and Fan will try and TP out the boat, flying through with the stuff in the vacuum, cancelling the TP. Jonas and Fan getting low, the pipe and the mech have been pot. Na'Vi, they're still pretty much at full health. Jonas and Fan will fall here, they might get Suneco in trade, they do. Dendi as well, the damage now from Ara is coming through. They've taken down two heroes in return, and now they might look to take more Havorst. He's going to be able to speed himself out. Funnick might not be as lucky here. They find another kill here. Ara finding a double kill. Picks off Art Style on the Shadow Demon. And, well, I mean, NIP, they commit. They get through the damage blocking of the pipe. The mech, it doesn't end up being a huge issue. They've taken three heroes. They've only lost one. Bonic, he's he's punching arrow here. He will surge himself away. But, oh, there's gonna be a cooldown. Havorce gets wiped away straight away. The cooldown might save him from the grave in terms of finding a kill in return. And Bonic does bring down the Abaddon, but pays with his life. Now Suneko turning up, tries to look for the hit on Terra, but with no points in Tidebringer, he really doesn't right click that hard at all. Error just goes straight back in. Error's got no feet. Just go down what there. What was that pathing? I, I, the, the path I think thing. the creep actually ruined his pathing and I, made him I walk think around. It might have been. Now nip. Looking for a team fight here, another smoke up. Yeah, they're ready for round two. Everything bar the Sonic Wave is available. Hookshot initiation will be there, Bubble. going straight through. Actually onto Limp, it misses anyone on the side of Na'Vi, and Na'Vi might be ready to fight back into this. The boat flies through, will catch out Limp, blows him up straight away. Still could here with a bar time. nice vacuum onto three. And now this time with the, fight, the pipe, Na'Vi, they continue to fight, continue to push. They'll find hand scares, they'll find arrow as well. They'll also bring down the Abaddon. Four heroes being taken down on the side of NIP, and, and as you were saying... So like Viper or Darkseer. And then at the end of them, they just have a ton of farm. And that ends up being how a team snowballs. But. Jonas and Fan has an Invis rune here. Might be able to set something up for the side. Oh. Throws down the Cox. Limp comes in a three-man Sonic Wave. But there's going to be a cooldown and a boat fly through the middle of the side. And up he catches a little vacuum as well. Jonas and Fan goes down. Na'Vi, they've only lost the Shadow Demon. And with the pipe of the Crimson Guard, Na'Vi, they're pretty hard to bring down. Seal Kid will have the borrowed time, buying him some time. Very aptly named skill. The Torrent will fly through, won't catch anyone. It doesn't matter. Seal Kid wow. does manage to get the Mystic Coral deny there. But nonetheless, Na'Vi just losing the shot as they head to the high ground, making it a little bit harder for NIP to jump in with the defense. The fortification will come out from the dire. Uh, Force and Denny standing their ground, hitting away this tier three. Jonas and Fan looking for an initiation from the sidelines with a hook shot. There he goes straight up to Dendi, but Dendi gets four star forwards, and now the cogs will put the BKB and starts to get the damage out to hands. Get five strikes as well. The vacuum onto the Undying. They blow up the Undying. Cool down. The slow will connect on Seal Kid. Seal Kid has the borrowed time procking. BKB's been popped by Havorce. He's still standing there. Now the demonic purge onto Seal Kid, slowing him down. Havorce moving him close and personal with the rocket barrage. Will find the kill onto Abaddon, and now Jonas and Fan gets the cogs. Uh, there's going to be defensive disruption keeping Jara, but Jara here. The Aegis will be popped. They found three kills here against the side of Na'Vi era getting out a lot of damage and maybe they find a force here as well with the stun the scream from Limp they turn and fight and Vorst trying to do his best with the lifesteal not going to be enough here is four heroes now dead on the side of Na'Vi so Naiko is left to run away on the Kunkun we have the unfortunate part about uh Nip's lineup is they're they're not very good at killing Roshan Oh, it's a hook shot straight onto Funnick. He's found Funnick. The disruption will be there there to stop the clock weapon getting down the course. Vacuum onto Forza. They have the follow-up. Oh, yes, because no. the has turned up. The cogs. And they're all melting as well. The cogs holding the side of NIP in place. But it doesn't seem to matter. NIP is still coming out on top. They'll find Suneco. So even though the cogs almost certainly looking to set something up for Na'Vi. Smoke.
They know where he is. The hook shot will be into the Viper. They've got a Sonic Wave. Everything going down onto Denny. Denny's just supposed to be maybe the vacuum there onto Limp and Jonas and Fan trying to turn around for the time being. There is your wall here, of course, with the Agnim's upgrade. Hands Ken and Limp getting caught in it. Limp will simply blink away. And now it's NIP that are on the run this fight. They don't want to stick around. Hands Ken gets caught up by the homing missile. Gyrocopter with the help of Darkseer will bring him down and a buyback straight away from Undying. Undying want to get back in. There's going to be Jonas and Fan hook shotting onto Dendi and Seneco. Seneco trying to get out for what he can. Glimmer Cape is there, providing him some, some sustainability, but they've lost Dark Style. And now it's beside an RV trying to escape. So Nako teeping out for the tree line. Will if you're able to get yourself to this point. Yeah, the Octarina is going to be the, the icing on the cake here for him. It'll increase his tankiness like tenfold. Ooh, limp now with the hex on top. Start the cape behind him. Some survival, but they're obviously doing nothing against the pure damage on oh, the Sonic Wave. Oh, the vacuum, the wall, the NIP getting dragged right into the middle of it all. Hansken goes down here. Can Navi finish this one off? Limp has the BKB trying to get himself out. Arrow is BKB. Is it going to keep him alive? He'll go down. He is only down for 15 seconds though because of all those bloodstone charges. Double kill for the first. Jonas and Van comes back in. Will bring down a boss. It's a two for three trade so far. Jonas and Van getting loads of right clicks. And Dendi will bring him down here. Limp trying to find Funny. Funny gets forced back by the Cogs, but Limp will blink himself out of this one. Ends up being four for two. They're favoring the side of Na'Vi. And or oh, maybe it's not over. Limp stands there, takes a disruption and soul catcher to the face. And error has returned. There's going to be the vacuum as they go for the wall. Limp, <laughs> the damage being <laughs> done. Limp gets blown up. And now it's error. Error's got to be careful about walking past this wall. Will back himself. Pops down the Yule Scepter of Force with the homing missile heading the way towards Limp. Limp drops the Siphon to Artstyle. There's going to be an X mark onto... Oh, there's not going to be enough because Limp wants to be given now. Jump straight in with Jonas and Pam with the hook shot. Pipe has been popped by the side of Na'Vi. They're walking through the wall though at the side of NRP. They need to be careful. Artstyle gets the Soul Catcher onto Hanscan. Error in the middle of it all. Look at the damage he's doing and they just can't kill him. The BKB keeping him up. They've already found two heroes on the side of Na'Vi. They might be able to find more. They're 5 free. They're 5 4. Four heroes down. Funnick the only one left alive. The dagger will fly forward. Error finds the slow as well with the lightning bolt. Can Funny get himself out of this? Now he gets caught out by the stun, the cogs, they blink forward here on Limp, they're going to be able to find Funnick as well. It's a full team wipe, triple kill for Error. NIP only losing the Undying, and Leshra... ...charge up the high ground. But they do have the Shivas ready on the Courier. So whenever uh, Era drops the first time, it's just going to be... We're going to go in, we're going to sacrifice him once, he'll get Shivas after that, pop BKB, try to take the fight, or go Rex. Oh, cooldown's going to be dropped here by her boss. There'll be the torrent as well, catching out Error. Error will just put the BKB straight away. He's now down to half health, and the right clicks from Dendi, of course, with that butterfly doing a fair bit. Error getting low. We'll go down vacuum onto two there. And now here comes the boat as well. Where's it going to go? It's not going to connect onto anyone. And RP just backing up, and here comes Error in for round two after the Aegis has been popped. Gets the sun onto Dendi. Limp moving forward with the help of Handscan. There's going to be the Yules holding art style in position. Viper Strike will connect onto the Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain munches the cheese, blinks out. Tag team Jonas and Fan in a hook shot straight onto her boss. A boss getting low will go down. It's a one for two trades so far, and up here only losing the Undying. Her Vorst will buy back on the Gyrocopter here, because they need him for this defense. The basic dream for them. I mean, disruption on Terra here. Doubling four for a limit. The hook shot straight onto her boss. Her boss just get himself out of the corner. And now the vacuum onto the boat. It's not quite enough there to bring down NRP. Zaneko getting low. Pops the Glimmer Cape trying to get himself out. Yule's holding him in place. Her boss will retreat. No one's died so far. Zaneko, Hardstar both getting low. They both pop. It's a double kill for Error. Now Funnick trying to do what he can against Limp. Limp's able to blink away. And Error just turning his attention towards Dandy. Looking for the stun. Funnick's pot the BKB. Will back himself off. Two heroes falling on the side of Na'Vi. NRP standing their ground. Will be able to clear out the top racks here and that is a push successful there for NLP. Just imagine if Havos had a set of Navi straight up but I think with only three heroes and Nip looking to be in pretty good fighting shape it could potentially just be GG. Yeah I mean NRP heading up to the high ground looking to go for round two in the mid lane as the damage flies through onto the tier three. There's going to be a cooldown from Havos but he goes in and he goes out. Doesn't want to stick around for the time being. That's going to be the tier three down. Stun onto her boss. He's in a lot of trouble. Limp comes in. He's going to go down. He's down for 115 seconds. That's no buyback game. available on your gyrocopter. It's not looking great for Na'Vi. They will lose the mid racks here. And it feels like they're on the verge of losing the game. No gyro. You can't fight. Like, there's no way. Like, how do you, how do you kill anyone? The only person on your team who does damage at this point besides Dendi is your gyro. And he's gone. So, yeah, they're, they're definitely just going to take one more fight, I think, and then call it. Yeah, Mera, three-man stun. Oh. Yeah, slowly whistling away at these bottom final set of racks. Still 70 seconds before Horvost is going to be back. And that's Mega Creeps now. Yep. That's Mega Creeps. And the only person who can see swing. And one that's going to be very, very hard, almost impossible for Na'Vi to recover from at this point, Mega Creeps.
Yeah, oh, Mega is like, unless somehow the gyro manages to farm rapier gold. They've got a turlet in a base that's pretty much non-existent at the moment. They got some huts. But they're going for it. They're not tapping out. Hey, they got tier fours and huts. That's the that's all you need. That and dreams. Error. He's fine. Limp just jumps straight in. Art style will go down here. The refresh has been popped by Limp. He's looking for the second Sonic Wave. Na'Vi, they're being scattered. They do get down a very nice vacuum and cool down onto two. Air is still alive though. Seal Kid, he has the borrowed time providing him that second chance. It's a double kill for Limp as both Shadow Demon and Kunkka fall. Her boss will fall as well in the middle of this fight. Three heroes down on the side of Na'Vi. GG is called by Art style. The game is over and done with. And well, NIP. After five losses in a row, they do manage to take a game, so you gotta, you got to feel a bit happy for them because... Hey, I called 1-1. You did? Yeah. No, I didn't think it was going to go 1-1 in quite this fashion. No? But I did think that Nip were going to be able to take at least one game. It's good that Nip took, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm happy. I'm happy for them. I'm happy for them because, as we said, they weren't on a great run, but... And they did deserve that win. There was that mess up from the side of Na'Vi, but it kind of seems, seems to give the side of Nip a bit.